right, now let's talk about the last point in research, planktonic colony. So let's go ahead and start with mission one, disc coral, which consists of three phases, to where you're gonna need 55 disc coral. But this plant is pretty common and it's pretty much found all across the ocean. So as you're going for other plants, you could be getting this one as well. So I wouldn't focus on this one too hard, but I believe the best location is to pretty much go to this teleporter right here and then just swim all the way across to where you even get up into the jellyfish route. One thing to note, just even at the teleporter itself, you're already gonna find an upcoming plant that you're gonna need, cave coral, as well as quite a few shark eggs. So if you haven't finished that section yet, this is pretty much one of the best places to get shark eggs. And if you somehow need more shark eggs, you can just go down here to the right and you will find tons of shark eggs. But now going through the path, you'll start noticing quite a few plants. You already see over here, algae, which you're going to need a lot for an upcoming mission, more cave coral. And if you keep swimming, eventually you're going to come across dish shaped plants to where you're going to be able to get your disc coral. So far as I've seen, I haven't really found a great place to get disc coral, but as I went and collected other plants, I got tons of disc coral along the way. Which brings us to mission two, cave coral, which consists of four phases to where you're gonna need 70 cave coral. So as you can see, just trying to get that much cave coral, you're gonna probably get quite a few disc coral. And then we have mission three, orange anamine, which consists of four phases, to where you're gonna need 70 as well. And the best place for that is pretty much all around in this dark blue area. This is around where the fang mackerel are to where they like to hide near the plants that you're looking for. So going around here, you're also gonna find a lot of cave coral and disc coral. So again, I would say those early ones, don't worry about too much because you can just go after this one and probably knock out most of what you need. To where I would say this is one of the ones that you wanna start with because you should come across a lot of the plants that you need in earlier phases. So now let's look at mission four, part A, conch, which consists of three phases where you're gonna need 55 conches. And I think the best place to get these is to just go on the beach at the top part on the Grand Sea. You'll find a lot of conches and shells all across here. This is just a very easy way to get everything you need for not only the conch, but also the shells. Which brings us to mission three, part B, which consists of three phases to where you're gonna need 55 algae. But as we saw at the beginning of the video, I already showed you a good place to get algae as you're trying to collect the earlier materials. Another good place is the turtle cave. Inside here, you'll find quite a few algae on the floor, which brings us to mission three, part C, pink sea urchin, which consists of three phases. And you need 55 pink sea urchins to complete this one. Now, this is one of the hardest ones to get because generally there's only two Two locations to where you can find these materials. If you remember in my previous video where I talked about the dolphin and shortfish location, that is where you can find these peak sea urchins. Basically in this whole coral reef right here. So you can go to this teleporter right here, or you can go to the turtle cave teleporter and get to this location. Once you make it over to this reef, you should start seeing the pink sea urchin. One thing to note as well is there are quite a few disc coral here as well, as well as conches and shells. Another good location where you can get pink sea urchins is the Breezy Isle, and you can use this teleporter right here to get over to that area. But you'll notice most of the pink sea urchins on the crumbled roads. But another thing to note about this area is this is probably the best area to get algae, as well as other materials you need in the early levels, like conches, shells, you can even find quite a few baby snails, you can get cave coral, and even disc coral. So you might even want to start here and try to get the pink sea urchin done first and collect everything you see. And by that time, you'll have most of the resources that you need. And then for our last phase three, part D, shells. And this consists of three phases to where you're going to need 55 shells as well. So I already showed in the video to where you can go to the Grand Sea and just go across the beaches or you can go after those pink sea urchins and find some as well. And then we're on our last phases, which consists of red sea urchins, which has five phases phases and you need 75 red sea urchins to complete this one and where these are located are also where red shells are located so let's go ahead and take a look at that this consists of five phases and you're going to need 75 shells as well and the location where these are located are in the dragon breath volcano so you can just go to this teleporter and then you can swim all across the outside and you should notice all of these materials right when you teleport you should start noticing this red coral to where you can see some of these materials 
already picked up a red shell. I would just use your pelican and your mount so that way you can just go to all of the locations and you can easily find these materials. If you do that for a bit, eventually you're going to get all the materials that you need. And with that, you should know everything you need to do to completely clear out all of the appointed research. I would say this one is the least important unless you're really into fishing, but in later patches they might add more appointed research, so I do recommend that you try to complete your appointed research before we get into patch 2.5. Well hopefully you guys enjoyed this, if so I would greatly appreciate a like so that way we can spread more on YouTube, but other than that, talk with you guys later.